Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? So I don't have that much time, but I just wanted to show you this really cool. Uh, I made this actually at work. I think it was on Wednesday. Uh, throughout the day, I was working on this, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys. Uh, again, it's unfortunate that I don't have that as many lights as I would like to. Uh, this cube, this illuminated cube, I had to add a light here and a light against the wall, but you can see that it's wrong because it's not really bright against this, the pipe, unfortunately, but you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do and it's close enough. Like you, are you, you know, I'm, I'm a detail oriented, so I noticed that, but it still looks pretty cool. Like it still looks like it's emitting light. Anyway, I wanted to do another lighting setup for this. So let's just, uh, I just want to get rid of some of this stuff and just do some different, some different things. Well, these are these two lights, so I can probably just get rid of those. And now it's nice and dark. Uh, shout out to everyone who was on my YouTube live stream. Um, I am going to do more of those. Um, hopefully it just, it's just a matter of like having the time to do them. That's the only, that's the only barrier. Uh, let's delete this too. Let's delete this random cube. So for this thing, and right now we are on 1.73. I wonder if the, I think I was on 1.74 before. Let's hide the back. And let's change the background. I really don't need to change the background though. Let's just make this bigger. So there's a few things that I've been noticing when I look at other 3D um, scenes and things like that. It's kind of nice to just have the item, like for example, this toaster. Let me make this a little bit brighter for you guys. Uh, so let's, let's brighten up the, what is that? Let's brighten up the key. Uh, and I'm going to try to start calling it the key light because that's really what it is. It's, let's see if I can turn on lights. It's essentially the main, the main light, the main light source lighting up the subject. So it would be something like this. And obviously it's very... And you notice that it just lightens up this. This is all dark. But you can also offset that with the environment. Right now, the, my environment is very low. So you can sort of offset it. It's also important to note that when you're doing this kind of thing, um, post-process is on, and it always looks completely different than when you don't have it on. Uh, of course, it's good to not work with it on because it saves resources. But it looks a lot different when you don't have this on. So just remember that when you're modeling. Because it might, you might say like, oh, there's not enough shadows or it's not dark enough. But post-process can do a lot of those things as well. So it's good to keep in mind. So let's actually make this a little brighter. And let's change the color of this. I don't know if I want it white. I think I want it glossy. Like a glossy, like, maybe even a glossy yellow for now. And is it in, oh, it is in perspective, okay. Because even like just this sort of view with the back just being flat can look really cool. So that's what I, that's what I started doing with the toaster. Um, I've just been doing like a view sort of like this. And I wanted to do that with these other, these other shapes. Maybe not this. This is a bit boring in this scene. I'll just hide it for now. All right. So let's... Why is the key only at 8%? Let's make it 170 
And honestly, I can probably just I can probably just use um, the directional light. But I kind of like the shadows. And also I soften the shadows. I definitely like the soft shadows. Uh, the hard shadows look kind of cool, but for the way that they the way that they interact with the with the item, like with the mesh, I like the soft shadows. Let's bring this down. But I do, I find it kind of fun to sort of figure out ways to make, ways to make these scenes a bit more dynamic. I feel like they need a couple more of these, so let's clone this. And just kind of spread them out a little bit. So since I'm plugged in, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with uh, the post process. It'll just be a little bit easier to see what's going on. So I want to add. So let's turn this on. We don't want the cone angle that big. I also appreciate everyone who's like, just appreciates the content, appreciates the work that goes into them. That's cool. I, I always appreciate when people kind of mention it because it's like sometimes it's just like, uh, you know, it's it's tough to like it's tough to keep it going. I'm a lot better than I than I was. Definitely a lot better than I was, but it's sometimes it's hard to kind of keep it going because real life is a doozy. It would be nice to be able to like do this full time. Not quite there yet. So I guess either way I would be grinding. But it would be a little bit better once I get to a point if I can just like make classes and stuff like that. That'd be a good, very good place. Very good place. But you know, we all have something to work towards. I just want to make a nice like backlight so that it kind of gives them a nice shadow in the back. I do like this reflection. Looks good. There's also another really interesting thing that I've noticed, and I've actually learned this through AI, to be honest with you. There's a lots of, I like to play around with AI and, you know, get inspiration and stuff like that. And uh, even like colors, lighting, shapes, like there's actually a lot to be had. There's a lot of benefit. Um, and one thing that I sort of noticed that I was liking was um, and once I, and I noticed it there and other 3D artists I've seen kind of do this, but, uh, it's kind of cool to play around with the lights and actually make gradients, like make the floor like gradients with light, with light color. So for example, um, well, this definitely looks nice because the floor is the same color. So that's kind of beautiful, but you can also add in like other colors, like we do like a pink like that. It's kind of cool because it, it also, it also like makes color, puts color on the floor too. And I find that, that that's really, uh, that's really fun. So let's add another light. Oh, we have actually have two more lights. So maybe it might be nice to let's let's change the color of some of these things. Let's change the color on this. Let's make it like a glossy purple. Let's see how that looks. 
Oh, that actually looks kind of nice. That was a mistake, but it actually looks kind of nice. Alright, so these, I just want to change some colors, why not? But it'd be kind of cool if they were actually glowing, so let's take, um, what's the best way to do it? I wonder if I can just join them all, and then, let's try it, let's try to join them all. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's one back here too. Um, what color? We have that, we have that. Let's make it like a, like an orange color. I don't really have a good representation of orange. I want to see if I join them all. And then clone. Oh, nice. So that does work. All right, what color do we want this guy? Maybe we'll make him a glossy orange. And him will make... I kind of like that green. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what color if I want to make the bottom jaw a different color or not. Sometimes it takes me an extraordinary amount of time to make decisions. <laughs> We'll just make it the same color. Let's make this a little bit. Let's make let's make the peaches. Let's make the ice cream glow a little bit. Hmm. Can't really see it. I like it better without. So let's change him to kind of like that glossy magenta color. And they're a toaster. Our toaster was yellow in the other one, so let's keep them yellow. Why not? Kind of like yellow for that, his eyes. Should we make them all yellow or should we change them? Purple is good for this one. Oh, now we have his little plus eyes. And last time I made them a little bit golden. I kind of like the orange. And we'll add a little bit of metalness to it. Why not? And for this, let's just make this like a 
similar to this color, maybe. Yeah, I think we can add a little bit of glow to it. Additive, always unlit. It's kind of cool. So let's make that the same color. This should be similar color to this, but maybe not so rough. But let's give this a nice glow too, why not? these glossy or I want them kind of rough we'll make them a little bit rougher but we definitely want like lighter colors I think make sure these are subsurface they are okay Feels very. Let's make that blue and let's change the bowl. So I kind of like this configuration. So let's save this view. It is a little dark. So I'll brighten it up a little bit. I want the purple to be on all sides. So now we actually have two more lights. So I think it'd be cool to add a green light. Point, super bright. I have to use screen space because that's the only way point light works. It might not actually work, so we'll see. It's the ongoing issue with point lights. I don't quite understand why they don't work as they're supposed to. Okay, I just want to give I just want to give that, that glow. All right. All right, so before we finish up, I just want to um, talk a little bit about a few things that are happening. Uh, remember I said that we're in post-process, so 
The reason why some of these is very dark is you can you mess around with the curvature that affects like that that darkness and also obviously the the strength of everything you want some shadows but maybe you know you don't want it super you don't want them super super dark so just play around with these because these really affect uh, how they look and it actually looks nice if it's not too shadowed this sort of scene sort of lends itself to you know some shadows but not not an extreme amount of shadows You know, it's more of a graphic, graphic scene. Okay, so. I kind of like how everything is looking here. Um, I might, it might be nice to. Let's see so if this is the, let me go back framing is very important so let's move him to put him in frame more oops okay so that's nice so if he's back there I don't think I can use, I don't know if I can use this light. Man, it'd be so cool if point lights would just like act like point lights. I'd be super pumped about that. Also, this is very purple. So I kind of want to put, I kind of want to make that red play a little bit more. Let me make sure we're saving the right thing. So... So now it's more a matter of just like designing, to be honest with you. So now like that I have my my view, I just I'm just designing now. And you design how you want it to look. Oh, that's right. I forgot that I, I forgot that I added them all together. So let's see if I can move this over. It's kind of cool. So now they're all they're all grouped actually, so it might be just better to move to move this like that. And then so let's just go ahead and resave this. So let's find this red light. Let's pump this red light up. So I kind of want to affect the overall color of um, of the backdrop too. So let's add. I think we have one more light. So let's add another light, and maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll try out blue. And we'll make it a spotlight. I'm not really seeing any subsurface, so it'd be kind of nice if I could shine this light through some of these things.
Why did this turn white? I'm so confused. Oh. That was weird. I'm just angling it so that the reflection is not on the floor. But it's nice if it hits multiple shapes. Probably have to skinny it up some. I don't know if I like the blue. Maybe, uh, yeah, let's try a different color. Now I'm just kind of playing around, just kind of seeing if I can get more of an effect with this light. Maybe there's a better spot for it or something. I mean, that, but that's kind of fun. Let me make sure all these are, are these teeth. Oh, they are. Everything else is good. So let's go back to our view. I think that looks pretty good. The only thing I wish is that this was more of a reflection. Um, I wish that this was better reflected. brighter. I kind of like it brighter. Sometimes bloom. Let's see if we make them a little bloomier. That might be a little too much. But anyway, I think this looks pretty cool. And I gotta go before it gets loud. So... So there we go, there's our little scene. Oh, not the view, where's the view? I think something like that is perfect. But I do have to Let's update this. Oh, there's one more thing I want to do. I think 
that's cool. drawing keep sculpting we'll see you all in the next video Thank you so much for watching the video be sure to like and subscribe it really helps me helps my channel and if you're really serious about learning then definitely check out my skillshare classes just go to drugfreedave.com so just go to my website i have a bunch of classes in 3d with nomad sculpt and i also have 2d classes in procreate keep drawing keep sculpting i'll see you all in the next video Thank <laughs> you.